Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. Uh, I'm sorry for, you know, the, the consistency in uh, doing the Facebook Live from uh, Nepal has been a little bit challenging uh, with the, all the internet uh, connections and even in the hotel. Uh, so it's been very difficult, so I apologize. But I am here now. Um, and um, having actually a wonderful time, I got to see uh, Yongzi Rinpoche a couple of times, my teacher, who I have been following over 40 years since age 10, and it's always wonderful to uh, connect. And also, uh, um, Yemesh Sherab Jansen's a celebration and the monastery, the Cham. It has been a wonderful experience here. So today uh, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, meditation on dissolving pain. So this is the topic that we are going to discuss a little bit. So first of all, um, so there's two things. One meditation and one is the pain. So what kind of meditation and what kind of pain that we are talking about. And so the meditation is two, primarily like two kind of meditation I could think of. One I would call like practice of compassion and love and one I, could, I would call practices of uh, innate awareness, the pure awareness. So, or you can also call that absolute meditation and conventional meditation. So absolute meditation will be the pure awareness and the conventional form of meditation will be the uh, conceptual influenced love and compassion kind of. So, so two kind of meditation, which I will explain a little bit later. Um, then what kind of pain we were talking. So. Pain is uh, primarily a physical pain, that uh, something that we all sometimes, I think uh, either you are going into operation room and trying to, uh, facing a pain, or you have some consistent chronic pains, or something that um, uh, injured, pain of being injured. So any form of physical pain, it's one of them, and then more like an emotional pain that something um, very uh, deep, uh, very deep wounds that not necessarily always we are aware, conscious of it, uh, but sometimes it surfaces out and become becomes a more like a manifestation. Uh, of imaginations or through our body, through our activity. So any emotional pain. So bottom line is physical pain and emotional pain is the two main pain that I'm thinking of. So two form of meditation, conventional and absolute meditation, two form of pain, uh, pain of mind and the pain of body. So So these are what we're talking. And now the first one, when we talk about uh, meditation here, so, so let's talk about a little bit about the pain. Um, one of the reasons why there is so consistently we have pain and we are not aware of pain and lack of awareness of pain, we contribute uh, a negative relationship to the pain and because of our negative relationship to our pain, producing more pain or keeping it very solid, uh, uh, consistent, and that's what's happening. So, main thing is, it's about relationship. So, I, I repeat this again, the main thing is, our relationship to our pain is the most important thing. Uh, for example, um, first 
we we discussed this already already we identify with our pain so we we like i am pain i am sick we identify with that and when you identify with that and uh, when you are that and in a deep sense you do not want to lose yourself so you do not want to lose yourself i don't i do not want to lose myself so i do not want to lose my pain because my pain is who only thing that i know of myself that's what i identify so when i identify with my pain as me and i do not want to lose myself that means i do not want to lose pain so some sense unconsciously we always making sure working hard uh, to to make sure that i do not lose my pain i contribute my pain i save my pain i i develop my pain i feed my pain i feed the demon who is producing those pain so it that is what we are doing But basically so ego and pain they are very much closely related and we one of the thing that we do unconsciously is we make sure ego survive we we show ego live long uh, ego we f- feed the ego all the time because of our identity with the pain so that's the number one i think because if you see when you're doing meditation in order to heal and dissolve the pain one thing what we're trying to do is we are saying number one form of meditation is the meditation of pure awareness meditation of pure awareness has something to do with dissolution of ego uh, and so so it's directly related to the med- uh, meditation of pure awareness and dissolution of ego and in everyday life we don't have a meditation of pure awareness we do have constantly without any effort we feed the ego we make sure the ego survive therefore naturally our pain is safe protected it it feed it so we, that's how we some sense we are not able to get rid of it so that's one thing and the second part is also it's not only not being aware of our pain and identifying with our pain and the worst part is we constantly judge our pain we constantly reject our pain we constantly hate our pain we dislike our pain so imagine if if the child who is in pain or friend dear dear friend who is in pain that and somebody then you you reject that person that child or that your dear friend who is in pain and you ignore that person who is in pain that child who is in pain so imagine parent ignoring child who is in pain parent undermining the child who is in pain parent being mean to the child who is in pain or friend who is mean who reject uh, who criticize the one who is in pain so basically this uh, ignoring rejection criticism uh, of pain and that is i think is the worst part it's not only ignorance but it's the active ignorance it's a very uh, damaging ignorance this is like a manifestation of that ignorance this is what constantly we do uh, for example that i always give example that if you have a knee pain if you have a chest pain if you have a heart pain for example if you feel pain in your heart you i say you say i hate this pain so somehow you're not able to distinguish very well are you hating the pain in the heart are you hating heart are you hating the pain that you identify that means you are that pain are you hating yourself so maybe very likely energetically you might be hating yourself by hating your pain you might be hating your heart by hating the pain in the heart you might be hating um 
even even the energetically pain which this does not deserve hate because ignorance hate criticism in the first place it produced those pain it became causes of development of those pain so so continuously hating it it absolutely does not help so these are the things that what we do uh, very regularly um we do that so it's when we do that and i think that's kind of very much a big problem <clears throat> uh, uh developing and continuing our pain so but these are all not always uh, conscious right so some sometime for example right this very moment those you are in physical or emotional pain so let's just just calm down for a moment right this very moment those you are in physical or emotional pain two possibilities one you are very disconnected you are not aware of it that means there is no a sense of connection or pure awareness in relation to that pain that you have in you this moment second you might be disliking it you might be rejecting it you might be hating it you might you might be anger you are you are angry on it or you might be totally unconscious but still rejecting it so bottom line two case unaware or as a result of unawareness you might be doing these negative kind of relationship building this negative relationship with the pain two possibility so please as i'm talking here if you feel that you do that let me know that if you recognize something as i'm teaching please tell me yes i am not aware yes i am rejecting it yes i am criticizing it yes i'm so upset angry with it a clear recognition so so i want all of you please respond in this case here respond me uh, what your experience is how you are uh, with this this two cases we talked about it is all about your relationship to the pain and there is a two particular one not being aware and one as a result of not being aware your negative relation to your pain criticizing hating judging ignoring and those things recognize what actually you do you and let me know here if it's possible now so so these are the how we create pain and how we continue with pain so the dissolution or the dissolving pain will be uh, so now what kind of meditation we are talking so i would first a few things one it's very important to recognize so this is as we are having conversation here um i am trying to make that you recognize it knowing it it's most important knowing it yes i do that yes i do that yes i am not aware 
Yes, I reject that. Recognizing the pattern is very important. And you might not immediately able to change something, but just because you recognize it, the moment you recognize it, something is already shifting in you. When you recognize you're no longer the same as before, before you recognize that. Even though you might feel, oh, I just recognized, but I did not really manage to change anything. It, it did not change anything. It's still there. But that's not true. There's something has shifted in you because of that awareness. And then, th because of that awareness, something has opened up in you for further light, for further awareness, for further uh, direction of awareness. So that, I think, is important. Second part of practice here, what we will do is be, you know, this is, I think, most of you know already, those you are following for a long time, is three precious pills. The stillness of the body, the silence of the speech, the spaciousness of the mind, why we do that, why it's important. Because, you remember, I, I spoke a wrong relationship to your pain, identifying or, or a negative relation to your, relationship to your pain. Because those lack of awareness <clears throat> and negative relationship to your pain, it's a wrong attention to the pain. So you need to have break from that and have a right attention to yourself. That's why three precious pills are critical and important. For example, if I am having pain in my heart and one, I am not aware, that doesn't help. Second, I don't like it. And when I don't like it, I'm a little bit confused. Am I not liking myself? Because I identify with that pain. Am I not liking my heart? I, am I not liking my this part of my pain? You get confused. So that's negative attention. Instead, I recognize I'm doing that. I recognize it's not good. So I wanted to change the focus from that negative relationship, negative attention shape to the positive, which means the stillness in the body. A strong shift of attention, the stillness in the body. Silence in the speech. the spaciousness in the mind. So, basically, three precious pills or the practice of three doors. So that's what you would do second. First, recognize negative pattern. Second, three precious pills to bring a right attention and right relationship. Third important part, when you have a more like a neutral and more open relationship to your pain, then from that openness, what you want, you want it to be kind and compassionate. So you wanted to be compassion, compassionate to your pain, you wanted to be kind to your pain, you want to bring that energetically a sense of warmth toward your pain, like a loving mother bringing a beautiful attention to the child, needy, needy child. Just, you are that beautiful loving mother who is bringing a pure loving attention to the a child who is very much needed. So the pain, your pain is like your child and you're bringing this attention to your pain. L now look at this, 
make a little bit of observation here. What has changed before you are not aware, before lack of that awareness, you, you dislike, you criticize, you judge yourself, you judge that pain. Now you recognize, you neutralize, you are aware, not only you are aware, but you brought this warmth, caring, loving attention to your pain. Completely change. As a result of that, you will already begin to feel the differences. The pain will immediately respond to that open attention, to that awareness, to that warmth, kindness and compassion. Imagine like a child who, who is crying, who is need attention, who lack the attention for some period of time. The moment mother recognizes child needs the attention, the connection, and moment mother hold the child in loving arms. Child stop crying. Child begin to feel the connection. Child begin to feel nourishment from the mother. That is exactly what is happening with your pain in this case. So just one highlight here, very important part, is you know, those you being I mean this 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 is the notion about like when I talk when I say compassion, kindness, warmth, but it it needs to be much more coming from that open awareness. That it needs to be coming much more from sense of connectedness, uh, much with yourself. It needs to come from much more grounded. Uh, very important part. Much more open. You don't want um, a, a loving or kindness with such a grasping mind or attachment. Because sometimes you know that we say, I love you. You know, if somebody says, I love you, when you, when you feel scared by that. Right? Just imagine somebody said to you, oh, I love you, that you, it scared you. Another person says, I love you, you feel happy. Because why? From one, you feel the love and care, attention with such a deep, grounded clarity and openness. You don't scare with that. You feel free and you feel loved. But somebody else, when they say, I love you, you don't feel the love, but you feel the grasping mind. You feel controlling. You feel some something not right there. And you don't want that grasping attachment and that negative energy of kind of in the name of love toward your pain. You don't want that because uh, you, you might be doing exactly the same thing that what you have been doing for so long time but in this case you're using a nice name called love, compassion. And I do believe there are many people nowadays when people talk about compassion, love, healing toward your pain, uh, and not making those clear distinction, because this distinction is the virtue of coming from a very rich, long-standing, uh, hundreds of volumes and lin unbroken lineage and tradition, um, very sophisticated knowledge base principles, so-called the pure awareness. That is very important. It's not like it's just being nice, just being compassionate, being kind. It's not about that. I mean, it's being open aware. It's being open compassion, unconditional compassion. So, so I think so. that is uh, very important. So I, let me conclude here a few things as far as the meditation is concerned. Being aware of those negative patterns, being aware of how you negative relationship to your pain, 
redirecting your attention with three precious pills, with awareness. From that open awareness, being conscious of compassion and kindness, bringing that warm attention toward your pain, but with, with always sense of more and more open and more and more warmth, rather than closing and closing and feeling compassion. No. Open, warm, compassion. Because compassion needs to have freedom. Because in the end, the warmth and compassion will heal the pain. The awareness will liberate the pain. Compassion might not liberate the pain unless there is pure awareness. Compassion might help, but not liberate. The liberation from that pain, from the root of that pain, the ignorance, the ego, only happens with absolute compassion or pure awareness, not the relative compassion, not when you think, oh, I feel kind, love, or something like that. That emotional compassion does not cut the root. That's important to recognize. Okay, so I think uh, we spoke uh, uh, enough about it. So uh, if I summarize meditation, dissolving pain, what meditation, uh, pure awareness and compassion and kindness, what kind of pain, physical and emotion, what meditation, Meditation and what kind of things you need in this meditation is to be aware, first to be aware that how much unconscious you are, how much unconsciousness brings negative relationship, and then redirecting your attention from that old pattern to a new awareness with the help of three uh, practices of three doors, stillness, silence and spaciousness. When you are able to change your attention, then able to, from that openness, bring the warmth, kindness and compassion. And from that kindness and compassion, being continuously being very aware, aware that you are not having that kindness and compassion with a deep sense of grasping mind and attachment, the compassion is always open compassion. Always there's a deep sense of freedom of letting go sense of compassion and maintaining that between being very open, being with it, and allowing the natural, spontaneous, effortless, free compassion and warmth from that awareness toward that pain and sitting, resting with that awareness with that pain, like like a mother holding the child in loving arms. So that is the conclusion. So let's. Uh, let, I will give one simple, just kind of a little bit example here. I just, sometime I gave. I talk about awareness. So this is a form. This is a glass. Think about this is your body, or this is think about this is like a channel, channel in the body, or this think you can think about this is your heart, a clear heart. So <clears throat> when I turn on, when I turn on the light, when I light hits, whatever is clear, it illuminates. Whatever it's clear, it illuminates because this is this is awareness. So as I, I as I'm showing the light to you, it's this light is reflecting. So when when there is no light, then it's clear. It's not illuminated. So wherever, wherever you, if I, on my right uh, shoulder, 
what's happening. You see what's happening. You see a light on my shoulder because I have a pain in my shoulder. So as long as, we're not talking about the phone, as long as I am aware open awareness, as long as I am feeling warmth toward my pain on my shoulder, this very moment my shoulder is responding to this light of awareness. My shoulder, my pain in the shoulder is responding to a warmth of compassion. But I know when I am aware and when I'm feeling warmth toward it, when I lose it, I do not see any more light on my shoulder. Maybe I, I, if I turn off everything light around here, it's like more like darkness toward my shoulder. The ignorance is darkness. It's grasping. And as a result of grasping, it's criticizing, it's hating it, with the helplessness, it's hating it. And so that darkness, so imagine instead of light, now what you see, you see a darkness, a continued darkness on my right shoulder. Is it helping? No. It's the opposite. It's feeding it. It's maintaining it. It's developing it. It's spreading it. And I do not want you to do that. I recognize. Remember we talk about recognizing. Oh, I recognize. First of all, I have a pain. Second, I am giving more, feeding my pain more. I don't want you to do that. I do three precious pills, change attention, and and gradually I bring the light. Light of awareness, light of warmth or bliss, or clear light of awareness toward on my shoulder pain. So this is example. Okay, so let's do a short meditation. <clears throat> Just sit comfortably. Take deep breathings. Twice longer than usually you breathe and breathe out fully out and feel that you're releasing any discomfort, tensions in your body this moment. Recognize your lack of awareness toward that pain. 
recognize your wrong relationship to the pain, ignoring, judging, criticizing, even sometime getting angry it at it and hating it. Those you do that, recognize. And recognition is the ground of this meditation where meditation begins. Realize the need to change, need to change the focus from that focus, that kind of focus, to a totally different one. Let it go, focusing on pain, body, speech and mind. Bring your full attention to your body. Be aware of the stillness in your body. Change the attention, change the focus from that negative focus on your pain to an open stillness of your body. Negative complaining about your pain to open awareness of silence. Negative imagination and all thing possible thing can happen from that pain to open awareness of your mind. Bring your full attention to this stillness, silence, spaciousness with such a deep openness and feel, and those who are in deep pain and sick, feel this time that we are all supporting each other. I am definitely keeping intention of supporting you all and you, many people are doing the same, feel supported from the sacred Cyber Sangha. Gradually be aware of inner stillness, the inner silence, the inner spaciousness. From that place, allow the sense of warmth, compassion, kindness, toward that physical pain or toward that emotional pain, whatever you are or you wanted to work on. Like the example of like my heart, pain in the heart. So the light, which is the awareness, a warmth of the awareness, 
the light of the awareness, both that warmth of compassion, the light of awareness, it's directly shining toward my heart, to my pain in my heart, either it's a physical or emotion. And I am maintaining it. Warmth of compassion and kindness, the light of pure awareness, shining toward my pain in my heart. Either it's a heart sickness in my heart, heart disease, or pain in my heart, or emotional wound in my heart. It's shining on all of them simultaneously. It's like a mother who is aware of being ignored the child, who is aware, who has been mean to the child, who fully recognize and change the pattern and being fully open, supportive and loving and being open to the child, holding that child in the arms connected with that warmth of awareness, love, warmth of that love, the connection of that awareness, is an example. When you lose that warmth of that compassion or light of that awareness, when you lose it, you think there is a warmth, you think there is a light, but there is not because you just lost it. As you recognize, you bring back. Now there is a light shining on it. There's a warmth, the energy of warmth, active energy of the warmth of love and compassion, open awareness of the light, both conventional and absolute medicine is healing your heart. Just continue. This is the attention, the connection.
Just feel the response from the pain too. Feel something's happening in the pain in your body. Feel and be aware of the deep wound it's responding, it's touched, it's opening, it's clearing, it's releasing or it's liberating. You don't have to do anything different, continue, not lose that warmth of love and that light of that awareness. But be aware of the response, be aware of the shift of the energy, be aware of the clearing of the pain. At least be aware of pain, its ease, a sense of ease, a manageable, okay. It's not clear, but it feels okay. It's not gone, but you are having better relationship with it. Or maybe it's gone, going. Maybe it's there, you don't have a problem with it. It's a miracle. Power of the warmth of compassion and the power of the light of awareness. May all sentient beings be free from their suffering of pain in their body and their mind. May all you have deep healing through these practices. Thank you very much. And for now, maybe I think I'm kind of seems like a running out of battery on my phone. So maybe if you just wanted to respond, uh, how was the meditation? Is the sound and the images are okay? So uh, please uh, let me uh, respond to me. How's your meditation is going? How how the practices work? Uh, as few things as I said. Um, what what is your condition? And how much you are aware? How much you are not aware? How much your negative relationship to it? What did you recognize during this short teaching? During this short meditation? Um, uh, how did you feel during this practice? Um, did you feel pain is gone? Did you feel the pain is going? Did you feel um, the it's easy, it just calms with your pain? Or you, you recognize the pain is not gone there, but you really don't have as much problem that you thought? It's, 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 a, it's a beautiful thing to see how, how, how sometimes you can have the pain but not to be affected by the pain. How much, sometimes how much you have conflict with somebody but you don't have to be, if, you don't have to be mean to somebody. Uh, how how sometimes the way you disagree with somebody but you don't have to become an enemy with somebody um, and so on because the space of awareness, it creates incredible magical situations. And uh, how, how did you experience this, this moment? So let me know. And I, again, I, as I said in the beginning, I apologize, you know, uh, in Nepal, the internet connection has been really difficult and uh, even in the hotel, so I have to, uh, uh, constantly struggle with that, so I'm missing, missing the uh, the 
live webcast, uh, the Facebook live webcast. So I am sorry about it. So, but but it we will continue. Uh, so so Thursday, next Thursday, uh, around the same time. So we will continue. And but please um, just check my uh, Facebook so that update schedule if there's any cancellations if there's a new changes in the schedule we'll keep on updating on the facebook page so um we hope to do same time on thursday and so just please uh, keep on uh looking at the f uh, announcement and if you know something any different let all your friends and families and Sangha members know the changes so that, you know, we always need to be reminded. I, even for me, my schedules has been, uh, need to be reminded. And I am so thankful for Polly Turner, who constantly every day, you know, helping uh, with the TWR Facebook Live and reminding me and everything. So thank you, everybody. Um, have a wonderful day and have a wonderful evening, beautiful sleep and and continue this practice until next time and during uh, during these days, if you practice what we taught, listen to it again and again and again, and it's trying to summarize this more like a simple way of understanding it and summarize the essential point of the practices apply them as frequently and let me know how wonderful your experiences are happening or how challenging your experiences are happening and I'll be very very happy to know because that helps me uh, help reading all the comments and helps me to see what I need to do better and focus on something it helps me basically thank you bye